What's up guys? I'm Marco. And I'm Heather. And we're new to blogging. Yes. Yes, very much yes. So we're going to be coming at you guys with a bunch of different things. Um, a lot of vacations probably this summer. Um, career, fitness, all sorts of different things. Uh, my favorite one, you guys will probably see a lot, is my 2014 F-350, which this week, it, this week, not this weekend, said this weekend this week is supposed to get deleted which I'm super stoked for for racing purposes only um, so I'm super stoked that'll be in there um, our five-year-old my uh, future stepson Heather's son we have a blend of amazing beautiful family and he'll be in there um, I work in the oil and fuel oil and the can't even talk right now natural and oil gas pipelines and um, that kind of work and Heather's a certified nurse's assistant and she currently works for the schools so our careers you guys might come to work with me a couple times um, might go to work with Heather a couple times um, we'll be spending a lot of time out at my parents ranch they uh, have numerous types of animals dad grows pigs mom raises uh, not raises but breeds corgis so that'll be in here um, so yeah. Yes. Um, we're typically pretty boring during the week. Try to get out on the weekend, do some fun stuff, go to the mall, go to the zoo, go up to the mountains. Yeah, or just simply cruise around, you know. So quick rundown of me and Heather. Um, we met on an amazing website. Thank God. Shin Mingle. And we talked for like two months. And we decided we wanted to actually meet, so I flew Heather here from Illinois. Did I say it right? Yes. Illinois. It's not Illinois. It's Illinois, people. Don't ever tell an Illinois person it's Illinois, because you'll go around with them, and it's just mm -hmm. not worth it. Anyways, so, yeah, she flew down here. We hit it off, and we were so far apart, we either decided it's either a make or break deal, and Heather moved down here. Um with the intentions of seeing what happened through the summer. She was alone uh, while her child stayed um, with his father. And we hit it off. We brought him, and he now goes to school here. He's a kindergartner. We love life. Um, it's been a challenge, but it's been amazing, and I would trade it for the world. It's a learning experience. It is, because at the same time we were getting to know each other, we still are, and I don't care how long you've been with someone, you always always still get to know each other no matter how long you've been together there's always gonna be the ups and there's always gonna be the downs and there's always gonna be the yeses and nos and it's just the and the that big thing we call life. life so yeah so we just are going to share our adventure and journey with you and we plan to do some big things this year hopefully Everything works out, and we'll be glad to share that with you guys. So good, man. No, it's not pretty good. Oh, sorry. We, we this is kind of how we are. So we're kind of spacey. So Heather's blonde for real, and I'm just spacey. So we'll be throwing in here. Um, I love to smoke food, so there'll be smoked ribs. Um, smoke meatloaf, smoke pizzas. I'll probably still be learning, but all the ingredients and stuff will be in these videos. You guys want to learn how to make this stuff. Um, how to truck drive. I'll probably have some trucking videos on here. Marco will probably share more than me. How to strap down <laughs> stuff. Um, you do a lot of things that I think could benefit people. I think your cleaning skills, there's a lot of people, believe it or not, don't even know how to clean. Oh yeah, I'm going to video me cleaning. You do pretty good at it, babe. And there's a lot of people that don't, but just saying. Um, it's called work, work well, ethic. Like one thing, one time I came home with dirty jeans, and Heather, I never knew she did this to get them so clean. She started spraying stuff on there. Like, that's stuff people probably don't know about that I think would be good. Pinterest. I, or, <laughs> I highly recommend it. <laughs> but like I said, we're new at this, so give us a break. Don't be mean. You know, give us a thumb up, maybe some likes. Or thumbs up. There's likes and maybe some subscriptions. Subscribe. Better. 
exactly we're new at this so we still got to figure out how to upload and edit and all that kind of good stuff so we'll be using iMovie um, for the camera I have the Hero 3 which I know it's like I don't know if it's the Hero 4 Hero 5 is out now so we'll try with the GoPro um, see how it goes we'd like to get a, a Canon DSLR but that'll come a little later we can purchase one and kind of go from there so bear with us if it ain't all that um, the, the quality or whatever we're trying just to share life with you guys so we're just a typical young starting family don't really have life. much we <laughs> live in a two-bedroom apartment eventually me and Heather we're gonna have a house and we're gonna do remodeling and that's our dreams I would like to someday have a, a trucking company um, and kind of go from there. Once we have a couple kids, and I'll probably stay home with them in time. Yeah. And in share some in of those a long time. Videos yep. when the time comes. When the time comes very far, far away. But I'm just kidding. I love it. Heather's really grumpy. Yeah, don't get her on that side because then she starts. It's not good. <laughs> Oh, I'm just kidding. She's not grumpy. She's just as grumpy as... You're short-tempered. Very short-tempered. Especially in traffic. I like my horn a lot. Especially if I'm in semi. Pull the horn. <laughs> Usually works. People are scared of semi horns. But, um... Me and Heather are both Christian. Heather comes from a devotional Christian family, and I come from a devoted Catholic family, which... At a young age, I converted to Christianity just because it was a lot easier to understand. Um, I think the furthest I've gotten the Bible from front to back is Second Kings, and I'm confused, so I got to restart over and at least read from First Kings on. And it's been a while, so uh, Heather, her parents are preachers, so I try to live up there a little bit. I'm not nowhere near close to that, but hey, I'm human. So. We all are. So yeah, um, what else can we share? It's like I said, our first video, I love to shoot, love to shoot guns. Um, not very good at it, but I like to shoot. For our protection. You never know. You just never, ever know. Maybe we'll put up some couple videos on some shooting time. Um... Like I said, we live in the beautiful state of Colorado, so maybe some trips up to the Rocky Mountains and some cool parks there's around here that we may recommend um, around the area in Denver. We might do some trips out in Denver, interview some people as our, such as our family, my friends, um, her friends, uh, co-workers. Just, there's a lot out there and there's a lot of funny people and there's just... Oh, the guy at the mall. Which guy? Oh, do you see the chicks in there at the Bare Minerals oh. getting more makeup put on their face so they can get more pimples? Random people you'll run into. And then into. he says, and why do people wear shorts in the wintertime? And I'm wearing shorts and I'm thinking, dude, <laughs> like he's talking about me. And I'm like, all right, yeah, this is where my godly side comes in. Calm down. <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, well, yeah, dude, it's like 70 degrees outside. I want to enjoy it before we get a snowstorm tomorrow because you're in Colorado. It'll be 100 degrees, and the next day you'll have blizzarding snow with 35, 40 mile an hour wind. So, of course, I was going to wear shorts when it was almost 70 degrees. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a good day at the mall. This girl is dedicated. So, it was like National Pretzel Day. <laughs> we were in line. They ran out. So, I got impatient. I said, I'm going to go get a massage because the Chinese people there give great massages. If you ever get the chance, check out Flatirons Mall in Broomfield, Colorado. They get down on giving good massages. I go there all the time, at least once a month. Anyways, while I'm getting my massage, Heather went back in line three times. So, I wanted my pretzel. So mm -hmm. she gets her and Connor her pretzel, her son, and they forget about me and says, oh, here's a piece, by the way. I always get the low you end of the stick. You had to be in line to get your pretzel. I always get the low end of the stick, I guess. You got a massage, and I didn't. Yeah, but my body takes a hard, hard beating, babe. Don't realize the value of a work, hard working man. Yes, I do. You come home to dinner most I night. do. I do. Fresh Clean dinner. Laundry. 
Clean laundry, clean sheets, clean. You're right. She takes care of me. You take care of me. I take care of you. Take you got, you, teamwork. You gotta give in a little, and you gotta take a little to make it work. That's right. Our biggest secret. And talking is communication, communication is key. Very big key. Because if you don't have communication, you won't get very far in life. I don't care if it's with your family, if it's with your loved ones, if it's, uh, anyways, that's a whole different subject. It is. But, uh, but yeah, so this is our first vlog. Um, like us, subscribe, and tell us what you think. We'll see you guys later, and thanks for watching. Okay, maybe next.